G'day guys. In the last video we had a look at comparative advantage and how we can use it to maximize production through specialization and trade. In this video let's have a look at where comparative advantage actually comes from. So we'll have a look at the sources for individuals and for countries. For individuals the first major source of comparative advantage is natural ability. Now, whether or not people are what we can call naturally talented in certain things can be up for debate, but at the very least we can say that comparative advantage can come from natural ability in the form of physical traits. So, for example, in construction or other physical labor jobs, being naturally stronger will make you better suited to the job. I think another good example is actually pilots. In order to become a pilot, you have to have good eyesight, be fairly fit and have a certain degree of um, health. So there's sort of a medical checklist that you would have to pass in order to get the job. So obviously being born, you know, without certain genetic defects, such as one that would impact your eyesight give you a comparative advantage for becoming a pilot. However, we can safely say that having good eyesight